part of this week's federal budget, the Liberal government has announced changes to the employment insurance program in our country. Here to tell us more, CTV News Chief Financial Commentator Patty Lovett-Reed. Good morning. Hi, Todd. So, what do people need to know about these changes? Well, you know, I think you have to sort of back up because I don't think a lot of people really think about unemployment insurance until it happens to them and they lose their job. And the first thing people will say is, am I qualified? Do I get to collect it? And you will if you lose your job through no fault of your own, if you've been unemployed for seven days in a row throughout a 52-week period. But you won't qualify if you lose your job because uh, there's cause associated with it. Maybe you walked away. Maybe you're out on a labor dispute and you think, okay, I'm still employed but I'm not working, that's not going to qualify. But because so many good people in Canada have been losing their jobs, and not just on the energy patch, also in eastern Canada, the Liberal government has said, okay, we're going to make some changes here uh, in terms of extending the period you can collect. It has been extended by five weeks longer, from 45 to 50 weeks. You used to have to wait two weeks in order to Put your claim in that's now been dropped back to one week and depending on where you are if in fact unemployment has ticked up by two percent from february through in uh, 2015 to march 2016 you can almost extend this for a 70-week period but you know what it doesn't replace the fact that many people on unemployment or employment insurance excuse me they want a job but this is hopefully going to bridge them just a little bit. How is EI actually calculated, Patty? When you look at the numbers, I mean, what can yeah. people expect to make from it? Well, a lot of highly skilled people have been losing their jobs and probably not going to make what they were making before. Uh, it's based on 55% of your average weekly earnings. Now, the maximum amount is 50800 And so, Todd, that translates into $537 per week. And for many, they're saying that is nowhere near enough to scrape by. What can people do, a bigger picture, Patty, to sort of prepare themselves for yeah. if they find themselves in this situation? You know, it's a tough thing to say because no one expects to lose their job, but we all need to have that plan B. And so I think if you think you're vulnerable right now, review your budget. Look at what you're spending your money on. To the extent that you can cut costs now to put money away for an emergency fund, I think you should do it. I also think you should apply for a credit card or a line of credit. Have it available to bridge you through the difficult time because when you need to get it, you might not be able to. And I would also know from my financial institution, do I have mortgage insurance or could I get a mortgage paying holiday if I have to bridge a gap for a period of time? So as proactive as you can be, when you have to be reactive, if you lose your job, I think at least you're in the driver's seat. Good to talk to you, Patty. Thanks for this. Have a great day, Dot.